Ophelia says, I'm always happy when I'm by you. Mm, Ophelia says, <laughs> all right, Ophelia says, this is the um, Taurus season timeline. It's about choosing the crystal, the crystal. Um, by choosing the crystal, you manifest your own um, frequency for the Taurus season. Um, it is good to choose a crystal. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter which one of the subscription. It is a monthly subscription. This is where the future is bringing us, where um, we all are going to be having subscriptions so people can subscribe by us. And the price is, you know, if you take the second subscription, you get a lot because uh, you will get the extended of other readings also. I do love you, Ophiosis, so much. Ophios is trying and find other people, share this video and, you know, share it by saying, were you born November 29 until December 7? Once you were born November 29 until December 7, you are an Ophi 17, you are an Ophiosis, okay? All right, Ophiosis, I see you're in for a new start for the store season and, uh, you have the energy of the magician. Now you are about to manifest everything that you're looking for. Some sort of information is coming in. I see um, people are going to be wanted to collaborate and network with you. I see the energy of the emperor. A lot of you um, who have a business, I see network. I see people are going to be wanting uh, to network and work with you and collaborate with you. So this is going to be good. So um, this Taurus season um, is coming up. You, um, fire sign, um, are going to be really excited in this um, Taurus season because a whole lot of information is coming up, which is um, going to be wonderful for a lot of you, Ophiosis, especially if you're a business person or you're about to create some sort of a business is going to be good. All right, the energy of the magician, it is all about... Uh, manifest okay it's about confidence okay and this confidence is good because it's as if you ophiosis are taking on the energy of the gemini and any communication within april 20th and april 26th is going to be good so if you're applying for a job or applying for anything you are going to be feeling the confidence in this week of april 20th till 26th you are going to be having the spark within you because you have the energy of the Geminis within you, okay? Geminis are very smart people. Communication is going to be very, very clear in this week. This week is a week to go for anything that you want. It is a yes week. Um, you have uh, um, the first week, yes week. So April 20th until April 26th is going to be a yes week. Go for anything that you want. It, you will receive it. It's a week of positive communication. There we go. So celebration is going to be coming in um, in the week of April 20th to April 26th. And I see transition is going to be coming up and this is going to be beautiful, okay? So whatever that was happening and transpiring, this is going to be a very positive week. A lot of you could be receiving a lot of job offer, a lot of business deals uh, and job offer that is going to be coming in. A lot of you could be manifesting this for a very, very long time. And it is going to be here April 20th to April 26th. So it is a week of confidence. You're going to be having the confidence to go for anything. Speaking is going to be absolutely clear and positive and a lot of you are going to be having the confidence uh, to accomplish anything that you want and this is going to be absolutely absolutely good so you're in for a positive runs for the star season let's look at the second week the second week is the week of the april 27 to may 3rd april 27 to may 3rd we are recognizing that a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. The page of swords is coming in with a whole lot of information. When the page of, the page of swords is in the reverse, it is not a good sign, okay? But um, this page of swords is helping you to communicate clearly, okay? And this is going to be good because your confidence is still going to be up and the communication is also still going to be up in the second week. So this is positive. So 
let's see what this news is uh, um, from this page of swords. So, um, so news is coming in um, from an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran businessman. Whoever this person is, I see some sort of a transition is going to be coming up um, for this person. This person is a married man. I see that you're going to be um, successful. You men are going to be very, very successful. Some sort of a news that is coming from this man is going to be alerting you of some sort of a success that you have gained. So Ophiosis, congratulations. So a lot of you Ophiosis is going to be successfully um you're going to be receiving some sort of a message so let's say that you apply for a job or you wanted to merge your company or you apply for something or you were um hoping for something yes a lot of you men are going to be successful and i see a lot of uh, information if you ladies were waiting for some sort of information about your husband from your husband or from your boss um, this information is going to be coming in and it's going to be alerting you of a success is here. So a lot of you married men and businessmen, you can expect success in this uh, second week. Um, and it's, it's success with money. Okay. So, um, we are looking at the energy of money and a whole lot of success, uh, um, with money is going to be coming up and, I see that the people are going to be open up to help any one of you out financially. So this is a really good. I see um, a man is going to be alerting you of some sort of a positive, successful news um, that is going to be coming in. So both men and women, this is going to be affecting you guys. The page comes up in reverse, but it is a, a situation where it is saying, hey, Ophio says, uh, um, some news, expect some news coming in from a businessman, a married man, or, um, you know, a man in a high position, a professional man that, you know, want to work with you or maybe want to offer you something. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So, alrighty. So let's look at the third week. The third week is from, um, May 4th until May 10th. Okay. And we have the three of pentacles, Mars in Capricorn. Now, this is a situation at the workplace and there could be um, some sort of a problem at the workplace, Mars in Capricorn. So let's see what is coming up. A lot of you could be open, open, open for some sort of a new job. A lot of you could receive that you get a job position. A lot of you who was having problem at the workplace, this is going to be over. A lot of you, there was some sort of a, um, um, issues at the workplace. Okay. So, um, the three of pentacles is Mars in Capricorn. So there was some sort of a problem at the workplace, but this is going to be over. A lot of you are trying to help a Capricorn to bring back some sort of a balance. So let's say that uh, you Ophiosis recognize that there was some sort of a foul play. Um, with a Capricorn at the workplace, um, maybe you are the boss or you are, um, you were called in to investigate some sort of a situation with a Capricorn. You're going to be recognizing, um, and uh, recognizing that this Capricorn people had created a whole lot of issue against this Capricorn and created problems for this Capricorn and has treated this Capricorn unfairly and i see you ophiosis are going to be bringing back this imbalance so i see um you are going to be releasing a capricorn from a very horrible situation you ophiosis are going to be working with a capricorn in order to re balance out some sort of a horrible play It could be that uh, you have recognized uh, how unfairly a group of people have collaborated against someone on the work floor or against someone. You could be the one who were placed to, um, you know, check out and, and, and investigate a situation that has to involve a Capricorn, whether it's at the workplace or um, it's just... Um, a Capricorn 
and you're now recognizing oh my god um this you know this woman has gone through so much this man has gone through so much you know all of these people had collaborated against this woman or this man for no reason at all and your ophiosis is going to be making sure that this um woman is going to be release out of this horrible horrible is as if they create a maze and target a capricorn for a very very long time and somehow it's as if you ophiosis begin to listen to this person and start to investigate and you the, the deeper you went is the deeper you recognize how this person was unfairly treated um, by family, by friends, by, by, by strangers, they don't, and it's all because of jealousy, jealousy. And I see that you, Ophiosis, is going to be using the week of uh, May 4th until May 10th in order to bring the situation to balance and release this person, um, from this issue. Because it's as if this person is innocent. You have never seen such a more beautiful person than this. And, the way that this person, their heart is so good, but how people just basically create a mess and affect this person in such a horrible, horrible way. And you are saying an end, an end is coming into this because I am ending it. As we go to the last and final week, May 11th until May 20th, I see the energy of the emperor and the energy of the emperor is a father figure as every one of you know, but it is also an Arterian figure. So this could be your boss so, or this could be um, someone in power or that sort of a thing. But this, this person uses their powers and I it's not in a bad way. And this is what I said, it could have been your boss. So whatever this person is, so in a corporation institution is going to be resolving um, a situation and is going to be recognizing what was happening and transpiring in a company, in a international corporation. Um, there, This person is really now going to be recognizing um, exactly and bringing an end to an horrible, horrible situation that was created. And this boss is going to be ruling but ruling with the scale being balanced that mean he is not taking um uh he's not putting his emotional but he's ruling in the correct form okay so like you will have favoritism because as a manager you will have favoritism but this person is going to be um bringing back discipline order discipline in a corporation institution and they're now going to be recognizing um you business people especially businessmen is going to be recognizing that you're going to be creating um a business and you are going to be asking certain people to be on your team because you recognize that these people have a sort of a gift that no one else has so it's as if you're going to be getting a team of special people who have special gifts and you're going to be creating a, a business with these people because you have and you recognize the potential of these people so this is going to be absolutely powerful this is great you're ending this Taurus season and you know Ophiosis you are one of uh, the best bosses because you Ophiosis rule you have cryon so cryon is about healing okay and Ophiosis you look at things not black and white you look at the gray areas you look at everything and you Ophiosis are good leaders and good bosses just like the Capricorns and the Taurus and the Virgos because you don't rule um, because of favoritism. You you really look at uh, the situation and analyze the situation and then you rule. And that is good. So I see um, if you are a judge or 
you know, a high position that you have to make some sort of a decision, you are going to be making the right decision and resolving a situation in a in a in a corporation institution and releasing the, the situation and make rules, bring back rules in corporation and institution so that uh, you can bring back balance in your world. Mm -mm -mm. I see you, Ophiosis, whoever you are, Ophiosis, and you want to create uh, some sort of a business, it's a yes, go ahead. You have all the tools you need to create this business. And a lot of you have been wondering and thinking, and you are going to be balancing out the situation. Another thing that I see is that uh, um, they're going to be recognizing uh, or you Ophiosis are going to be recognizing that you need to reorganize, reorganize a company. Okay. Some of you um, are going to be reorganized. Some of you could be brought in uh, to assess a company and the work procedures and the work process in a company. And whoever that decide to start their business in the week of May 11th until May 20th, it is a yes. Go for it. Go for it. If you decide to start a new business, if you decide to get groups of people, I see that you, Ophiosis, is as if you're watching certain people, you're picking out this group because you're going to be taking this group and having a new project. And you know that it's going to be a success. And yes, it's going to be a success. Wow, Ophiosis, I always love to read for you guys. Please share this video. Let other people know um, what is happening, what is transpiring. Um, find people who were born November, November 29 until December. November 29 until December 17. Um, you need to work with these people, Ophiosis, and let them recognize you are the healers of this planet and a lot of you Ophiosis are going to be start to coming out now and helping people to share and show people the way show people um the way a lot of you Ophiosis you need to protect yourself whatever is going on you need protection okay um and just call upon the Archangel Michael um, to surround you all the time. Just ask Archangel Michael to put you under your wings of power and protection because what you're going to be recognizing is that as you become very successful, then you get a lot of haters and a lot of people that is going to be working against you. So you have to start protecting yourself in order for you to understand um, that with success, there comes a lot of haters, but you can control this hate um, that is coming at you and bring it to a minimum balance, okay? Ophiosis, what is good uh, to do is to become a member of the channel. And I'm only advising you guys because um, in the channel, there's a whole lot of archive. And the archive... Uh, um, you can see everyone, everything that has happened for the last years that I have had an archive um, that I started with the um, extended reading. Those were um, $2.99. Um, now you can become a member of the channel. And by becoming a member of the channel, um, you can have a month subscription. You can keep it as long as you want. It is... Uh, um, there and as you become a member you get a lot of information a lot of information is in the archive of the channel okay and you can go back because sometimes I know my frequency is um I have a faster frequency where I see things in the future so sometimes what people do when they become a member they go back and look at like last year this time what was happening last year this time okay and last year this time i didn't have these readings because um i was working on something else and as i move into this year they started pushing the end of last year for me to do the season reading and 
I went and did a study and research because everything I do, I research it. Why? Um, even when my angels and guides tell me, this is what you need to do. And I started seeing the connection of what was happening um, because they recognize that people need information in every month. A month is compiled with two um, different signs, but we never look at the season of one sign. And this is where we started to do this. So go back and look at the archives. Um, it's, it's, it's two cup of coffee. What you pay for an abundant is two cup of coffee per day. I do love you. Please thumbs up, share, share, share these videos. Thumbs up. I love you guys. Namaste. Remember to choose your crystal. At the bottom of this video is the four crystal link. Choose your crystal. In order to see the crystal, you have to join the channel. Okay? Namaste.